Welcome back, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, my next guest is an Emmy-winning actor you know from Ted Lasso and Game of Thrones. Now she stars in The Fall Guy. Right is missing. He has fallen in with some shady people. We'll kill. Call the cops. We can't call the cops. Mm. Why not? The studio will know that I am way over budget. They will pull the plug on this. You know that. Please go and find him. Why me? You're a stuntman, for God's sake. No one's gonna notice whether you're here or not. No offense. I mean, it's untaken. You know him intimately. It can be so simple. You pick him up, you dust him off, you bring him back here. Save Jodie's movie. And maybe you get the love of your life back. You're good. Please welcome Hannah Waddingham. Lovely to see you. Oh, I love that. I love that. I, Off on the seated position. I yes, love it. Yes, I, I love a guest who comes on and feels very comfortable on a Broadway stage I mean, like this. <laughs> you nearly lost me just then, because I'm used to doing that. I got caught up. <laughs> I know. I love it, too. I might drift a bit during just, this interview. Oh, is that too much? <laughs> yes. Now, everybody knows you. Everybody knows and loves you as, as Rebecca from Ted Lasso. But you are... You've had a long, a long and successful career, both on Broadway and the West End. Yes. If I'm not wrong, you got your big break on the West End for doing an American accent, or by doing an American accent. Yes, what I is did. This, what well, is the story? Well, I was doing a show. I think you guys had it here. It was called Tony and Tina's Wedding back in the day. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So when it came to London, the breakdown, and it was just in the stage newspaper, just like a d little, you know, like newspaper yes. cutting. And it's One it said, thing between West End and Broadway is here, you can't say Ah, oh, right. <laughs> Look, do you know what? I am earthy. <laughs> earthy. This ad said, overgrown Barbie doll built like a brick house. And I thought, if I don't get this, I'm going to give up now. Because I felt like I should have been a shoe in sure. for that. So I, went, I turned up at the audition. This just shows you the, the courage yes. and the tenacity of youth. Yes. There were like four or five floors of like blondes, all the way up to this top floor, and I thought, I'm not doing this. So I pushed past, and I was going, excuse me, excuse me, I got an appointment, I'm so sorry, I'm gonna miss my train. <laughs> and I was literally going up, 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 did the audition, did the song, and the, the director said, I'm, I'm not really meant to do this, but I wondered if you could start a week on Tuesday, what, what part of the States are you from? And I went, oh, I'm from South London. And he went, <laughs> I like it, you've got the job. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I know you're a brilliant singer. You have a beautiful voice. Thank you. Did you ever work with Stephen Sondheim? Oh my God. Do you know what? I not only worked with him, I had two moments with him that I will never, ever forget, which are now so special. I did a little night music mm -hmm. for him, and um, it was so unbelievable because I believe you're a fan, aren't you? Yeah, and, uh, yeah. I yeah. got to do company with him. And uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. God, I never got to do that. Um, I was doing Send in the Clowns at the Menier Chocolate Factory before we transferred to the Garrick in the West End. Mm -hmm. And the stage is so tiny and people's feet are like, you know, at the end of your feet, mm -hmm. which is beautiful in a way and also a nightmare mm -hmm. when Stephen Sondheim himself is sitting three rows back and you can hear him sobbing while you're singing. And afterwards he went, I'm so sorry, my dear. I added my own accompaniment because you moved me greatly. And I just thought, that is better than any review. Wait, so wait. I mean... So you're rehearsing? No, you... no, no. This, this is was in the in show. A performance. Oh, my God. And, and you can hear Sondheim. I can hear him. And I just slightly looked up because, you know, Sending the Clowns is so sparse. Yes, yes. And I look up at just out of the corner of my eye and I just thought, no, that's, that's, that's him with a notepad and a little light on his pen. Taking notes. Taking notes. Yeah. We have to take a quick break. We'll be right back with more Hannah Waddingham, everybody. Stick around. <laughs> <laughs> 